Hello lovely people a warm welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well by God's grace. I'm so so excited to come with you with this long awaited recipe okay. So I'm um, very very delicious beef stew okay. So this is not just any beef stew. This is the original authentic zongo beef stew okay the zongo hawaza beef stew still now would dear won't say yes it's a woody we are to visit now on our own here on some just for the aroma very delicious and i'm bringing you a different way of making it this time so stay tuned and but before we get into the video i will ask that you like this video subscribe and share this video So first of all let's go through our ingredients okay so we're going to be needing tomatoes a lot of tomatoes i have some chili dry chili peppers i have some garlic okay um some ginger some onions and some red peppers and green pepper okay these are they were just in my freezer and i thought i had to use them use them otherwise i will never use them so it's optional you don't have to add that okay so what we are going to do is to um cut our tomatoes so we're going to quarter them and then um we add our chilies and our um, red and green peppers okay and the onions as well okay then we're going to boil this okay so we're going to boil it for about 20 minutes and then um we'll blend it and boil it again for a further 20 to 30 minutes or until all the moisture in it um reduces okay when it evaporates okay so i'm now adding my onions okay so yeah i will set it on fire and um you can add a little bit of water at this point if your saucepan the base of your saucepan is not heavy okay but then the juices from the tomatoes will release so that the, you wouldn't need any water okay but if your your tomatoes are firm then you can add a little bit of water so that doesn't burn at the bottom okay so after a while which was about um 20 minutes um it's all done you let it cool or you can blend it like hot like that but i let it cool before okay so what i'm going to do is going to um blend all of this okay so what i find usually is that when i blend and there's a lot of moisture or a lot of liquid and um, in with in the blender with um whatever i'm blending then um it's my i don't get a very smooth consistency so what i did here was to strain it using a colander okay so um, i strain it a little bit and then then what i did was um the rest of the tomato i mean the tomatoes and pepper and those things that we we boiled and um, i will pour it all in the colander and strain it so that i can get all the juices um out right so that when i blend it it will give me the consistency that i so 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 crave for I'm not craving for it just i just my choice of word <laughs> well so once i get enough of the water out i'll just um turn it all into the blender and blend it so if it's your first time on this channel a warm welcome to you and um please consider subscribing to this channel because here we do fantastic things here and you would totally love it okay and um to my existing subscribers thank you all so much okay and um, don't forget to like this video okay like the video because it helps it helps it helps so 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 much okay so i've blended it to um the consistency that i so desire okay i so crave the word yeah and i'm going to set it on fire again yes so what i'm going to i'm going to let it boil okay we boil and we make sure most of the water evaporates and we have a thick consistency you can boil it for a longer period of time okay um if you want for it to be very 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 thick right but then it doesn't really matter because when it goes into the stew it will thicken anyway and when you use this method what it means is that you don't have to cook it for hours and hours like my previous videos okay so we are going to start steaming our meat and these are the ingredients you need i have some garlic um ginger onions 
aniseed with rosemary and some chilies okay so i've blended it and this is how it looks like yeah and this is my beef okay so for the beef you need beef with bones in it bone in not boneless right because the bones gives a special flavor makes it really really delicious right so I'm, I'm adding my salt to my beef and as i always say make sure you season your meat at the very beginning very well so that it is tasty in the end when you add it to the stew okay when you add it to the stew to balance it out okay so i've added my marinade and then i'm added a little bit of water by um rinsing my jug and i'm adding curry powder to it right now okay and then i'm going to give it a good stir yeah and i'm we're going to steam it until it's nicely cooked you all you know say yeah ghana dear our meat we cook and we fry and it makes it super super delicious trust me so our meat is well done okay it's um cooked nicely cooked um and then it's now time for us to fry it okay so i'm just um emptying out a bottle a little of oil into my wok and i'm adding bicarbonate of soda to you know to reduce the splatter for me because when i fry meat like this dear charlie the splatter don't go there it does help bam. okay so yeah i use um vegetable oil and this is how you have to let your meat look okay you have to fry it until it's nice and brown right that's how you know we fry it in the zongo nice and brown and it's kind of hard firm but when you put it in the stew you know to soften nicely for you okay so we'll keep frying and then we we'll move on to the rest of the recipe we're putting everything together okay so i have some onion some ginger and some garlic that i have blended nicely okay so we the oil the same oil we use to fry our meat okay that's what we're using right here so the three things we blended we're adding it to our oil and we're going to fry it i'm adding a few bay leaves i think two or three big ones okay and um we, we let it cook you stir and you let it cook for about three to five minutes okay and then you add your tomato puree right i might say that tomato puree is not so um important in this recipe because look at even your tomato sauce look at how red it is it is going to make your stew darker but i'm just adding it just for completeness sake okay so once um um you add your puree you, this is the time you add your tomatoes okay and you're going to be boiling it wouldn't take long for this to cook because don't forget you've already um cooked your 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 vegetables before but i'm adding some water okay so that it cooks to my satisfaction otherwise i don't really taste the zongo taste you know that how was that watch it tasting okay and let me just also mention here that it will be a good idea for you to add dawa dawa in it dawa dawa is actually part of this recipe but i didn't couldn't find mine at the time i was doing it so i didn't include it okay so you keep stirring don't forget to stir it otherwise you will burn you will burn it okay so here as you can see i'm adding my um spices for my stew i'm going to be listing all as you've seen it's all listed by the side there for you okay so i'm um, in all the quantities um i think that's the problem i have with um most of my um some of my viewers okay so they have sort of want to know the quantities and i find it difficult to give you quantities because i usually make a lot a lot of stew okay so um here what i am doing is i'm getting ready to add my my spices so what i do i turned it into a bigger bowl and i'm adding some of the stew and i'll add some of the stock to mix it very well okay because they, they are lambs sometimes they are lambs in these spices okay so if you just put it in directly now what you find is one who d um, uh, is still now and one now whatever you're eating you wanna why we spice can see about one block of spice wow we measure so what i do is i try to make sure it all dissolves in the stew or in water if you don't you can just use water but i like to use the stew because i don't want to cook it any further okay so you keep stirring it as i i said if you don't stir it it will burn at the bottom trust me so make sure you go into stir so i'm adding my stock then i'll add my spice you see how easy and how easy it is to just you know combine it you pour it and then it combines so easily so okay that's what um i'm doing right here i'm going to make sure i scrape everything from this bowl okay and then we have 
everything in the pots. Just say, you be crying. You should not Hey, you see, I'm gonna, gonna head in. What? You're wasting him. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm, if I find it difficult, but I'll try and give you quantities based on like a little pot of stew that you can use. But I, why this pot is really big. Camera is making it a bit small, but it's really big, right? So, yeah, that is the stew, like, basically done. So, all that you're going to let it do is to simmer for it to reduce further. And then we'll add our beef. So, it has, actually. And I am going to set some aside for our video, okay? So, what I am pouring into the saucepan is what we're going to be needing, okay? Because it was too much. The one in the black pot was too much. So, I'm going to freeze that and save it for later. And I'm adding my beef to what we're going to be using like you know now so you see why i can't i'm unable to give quantities but what i will do i'm going to give the quantities anyway then you do your own math you divide it by 10 by 6 by whatever you want to if you want to make it smaller i know your mass yeah so so i'm going to do that because that is the still done very easy very very easy. so you can make that sauce in ahead of time and so that you don't you know waste too much time on it and then that you get all your ingredients and then you are good to go okay so that is our stew done and yeah i'll just top it up with a little bit of oil okay yeah there we go to make it look succulent and nice beautiful and you know okay so yeah um this is what i wanted to share with you today i hope you found this recipe useful i hope you'll be able to you know replicate this or you know Make some for yourself and enjoy in your in the comfort of your home without traveling to Nima or Mamobi, especially if you're in the diaspora. You just make it yourself and you enjoy. Thank you for coming. God bless you for supporting me all the time. I really appreciate all of you. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and you can share it to a lot of people so that they can also enjoy what you're enjoying. Okay. I served with rice on this occasion. Okay. And I hope to see you very soon with delicious delicious zongo recipes okay and i'll see you in the very next one bye